guys, it's Aniana, and today I will be talking about the activities at the YMCA. But first, here are some clips of Gators in action at the Lawrence YMCA. Today we have a special guest, a staff director at the YMCA, Ryan Middlemiss. Good morning, Arlington School. I am Mr. Middlemiss. I am the program director for the school enrichment program. I have the pleasure of working with the Middle School of Arlington on every Tuesday and Thursday. Um, and it is an awesome privilege to be part of um, this program. Do you think us as the Arlington Middle School deserve to have this privilege of going to the YMCA? I absolutely think the Arlington School deserves this privilege. Um, there's a, a, a ton, um, you know, all the students that come here, uh, you know, have, have a great attitude, um, you know, really deserve to, to be able to spend three hours a week at the Y doing different activities that maybe they wouldn't have at school. Um, you know, a lot of the kids are very appreciative of this opportunity. Is it stressful to have about 300 kids who come all at once? So having being in charge of staff and 300 kids who come to between the Methuen and Lawrence every Tuesday, Thursday, definitely has some stress involved with it, um, like any job. Obviously you want all the kids to be safe, you want all the kids to have fun, you want all the kids to learn, have a good, have a good time while they're here. Um, so there is stresses that are involved with that. You're going to make sure the staff are there on time, ready to teach. You're going to make sure the kids are being safe, the staff are, are um, keeping the environment safe. So there's a, lot of, there's a lot of stress when you're in charge of 300 kids ensuring that they go home, they come back to school. This is it for the YMCA. Now let's go over to Sari. What's up Gators, it's your girl Sarai. Today I will be talking about Squash Busters and what the program is like. Here are a few clips of Squash Busters in action. Now we're going to talk to one of the leaders of Squash Busters, Dora. Hi, I'm Dora, I'm the director of Squash Busters Lawrence. Why did you decide to start a program like Squash Busters in Lawrence? To start Squash Busters in Lawrence because, well, initially it was a few people in the area who played squash in Andover and in North Andover, you know, thought it would be kind of a cool idea to start up a Squash Busters program. They knew the Squash Busters program in Boston and they thought that Lawrence would be a great place to do it. Um, when we started meeting people from the schools and, and different students in the area, it seemed like there was a big interest in new sports and new activities and that the kids in Lawrence would be really into trying this type of program out. And we spoke with Phillips Academy and Brooks and they were excited to open up their courts and classrooms to students from Lawrence. So it was sort of a win-win. Does this job stress you out? Why? At times, yes. So I'm being asked that question two weeks before our big fundraiser of the year, and that's that's a kind of a stressful time because we need to raise the money that we need in order to keep this a free program for our students. Um, so definitely a stressful time to make sure that we can, um, you know, raise raise the funds we need to keep going. But I would say it's also really a rewarding job and one that I really look forward to. I look forward to working with our students every day. So even when times are stressful. You know, it's all, it's, it's really a lot of fun. Good morning, Gators. It's your boy, Manny. And today we're going to talk about another conspiracy theory. The conspiracy theory that we're going to talk about today is about our favorite childhood movie, Toy Story. In the sequel, we discover new characters such as Bullseye the Horse, Jesse, and Stinky Pete. The character we're going to talk about today is Jesse and Andy's mom. As we discover something interesting about these two characters, that Andy's mom is the real owner of Jesse, as they say that Andy's mom is the real, his real name is Emily. As you can see in some pictures of Emily's posters, it looks like it's the 60s and 70s. People are questioning why Andy's hat is different than Woody's since Andy loves Woody. And that's because Andy's hat looks exactly like Emily's hat. In some pictures, Emily's hair looks like it's identical to Andy's mom's hair. But Andy's mom's hair aged, so it got lighter. So, Gators, what do you think of this theory? Do you believe it or not? Good morning, Gator. It's Danielisi and Adicia here. And today we are going to talk about a pop star named Becky G. The fans know her by Becky G, but her real name is... Rebecca Marie Gomez, Ian was born in Los Angeles, California. 
She was born in March 2, 1997, and she is 19 years old. When Becky, Becky G started singing, she was only nine years old. Becky G can sing in two different languages, Spanish and English. Most of Becky G family is from Mexico. Becky G is now in a current relationship with a soccer player named Sebastian. Becky G latest. Becky G's latest song of 2016 is Sola, which is in a Spanish version. So this is our segment of Becky G. Hope you guys enjoy it. How do you feel about coaching 7th and 8th grade basketball? I'm pretty excited about this year. Uh, I think Basketball is a, is a huge part of our school culture here at the Arlington Middle School. And um, not to say that other sports are not important, but this is just the most popular sport at our school. And I think it's cool that I get to be involved in it. How did you feel about coaching basketball last year for your first time? It was a fun year because we won. Obviously, we won the championship. Um, been looking for a repeat this year. Um, there were some things, though, some, some things that we need to fix as far as off the court. Um, I, my vision for the team this year is to, is to become a little more involved in uh, our student athletes being students first, then athletes second. So my, being at my first time last year, we got some practice um, as far as on the court, and we were good on the court this year. My vision is for us to be um, better, better uh, role models in the school off the court. What talents are you looking for when the tryouts come? Tryouts is the toughest um, time of the year for me because ideally I'd like to have everyone on the team, obviously. I think it's good for, um, for more students to be involved in, in basketball. However, we can only really have about 20 kids on the team. Five on five sport, only five kids play at a time. But as far as talents, I mean, kids who hustle, kids who are working hard on defense, and then obviously the, the basketball skills, shooting, dribbling, all that stuff. How do you feel about coming off a winning season last year, and do you think we're going to win this year? Uh, winning the championship is pretty cool. So, I mean, we have a lot of returning players this year, and... Like I said, as far as on the court, I think we're going to be just fine uh, in terms of the talent that we have. Um, but we, get, we have some stuff to fix off the court this year. But as far as another championship, let's go. We're ready. Thank you, Mr. Papagallo, for your time, and I hope we have a great season this year. Good morning, Gators. Welcome to Gators Got Talent. I'm your host, Jay Ramos, here back again for another Gator News. Today we'll be discovering some hidden talents. And now, on to our first Gator, Eliani Sanchez. Show us her talent. Avila and I have one question. That's it? I bet there's way more talent in the Arlington School. I know I could treat you better than he can and any girl like you deserves a gentleman. Tell me why are we wasting time on all your wasted crying when you should be with me instead. I know I could treat you better better than he can. We heard you had a hidden talent. Well, I do. I mean, I, I could burp any time you want me to. Should I, should I do it? Yeah. Uh, oh. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, my. <laughs> Eleven. I flipped eleven. 
have it 11 times. But it's very tough doing it with my left hand. Oh. But when you land it, it's such a good feeling. I did some more relaxing. I know people hate the sound. It doesn't bother me. Ooh. Ooh. I'm actually pretty proud that I can do it with my left hand. It's Angelina Miranda. And wow, that was some serious talent. But that's all we got for you today because the rest are hidden. So let us know if you have talent. Signing out from Gators Got Talent. <laughs>